Maroda. Previously known as Mastodon, this guy really makes one of the heaviest dubstep in the scene. Whether you're a complete beginner or more advanced producer, I'm gonna show you all the steps needed to achieve a real T-Route banger and make it look super easy. Make sure to stay till the end of the video cause I'm gonna show you guys how to win the project file for free. Without further ado, let's jump into Ableton. Alright guys, here we are in Ableton. First of all, let's listen to the remake. Make sure to turn down the volume a bit cause it's gonna be super loud. I'm really really happy with how it turned out, it's super close, let's now deep dive into the project. You're starting to know it, a cool dubstep track always start with good drums. All the drums are from our sample pack which you can find on our website. Let's listen first to the kick. It's basically some compression to make it more sharp, a bit of boost in the low end and some saturation. Then we have a snare. Basically against some EQing, a bit of a peak to make it more tonal and some utility to make it more mono. Then we have a cool hi-hat pattern, very noisy and very bright. No post-process. Let's make it right now. And it sounds like this. Let's listen to the full pattern. Nothing too hard for the drums, let's now move on to the scenes. Now this is how I'm gonna see my real nerds at here. If you're fucking retarded lazy ass, just keep the video, go watch some anime on Netflix and stop music. For the others who actually want to learn something, we will make three bases in this project. And the first one sounds like this. It's a simple FM from A Serum preset uh, with custom wavetable we've made, it's included in the project. First oscillator is on band plus minus mode at minus 76%. Add 7 voices, put the detune at 0.23. Second oscillator is FM from 8 at 57%. We then modulated the level with LFO1, which looks like this. Then add a I24 filter uh, with the cutoff modulated by LFO1 and a bit of fat. For the FX section, nothing too fancy, just hyper to make it more wide, diet 2 as a saturation, all pass filtering which is great for giving that noise. Some more filtering with EQ2, again all modulated by LF1, and a multi bone compression at the end. Post process is not difficult at all, it's a vocoder in noise mode, just make sure to put the dry weight at 70% and to play with the format and the range to give it the tone you want. Then we have a disperser to give it that phasey texture, guttural texture, an erosion to make it more digital, and our classic OTT, saturation, EQing, OTT, and saturation again. again. On top of our first preset, we've added a noise layer which sounds like this a lot. It's basically just saturation with an amp, uh, EQing to only keep the high ends, even more saturation and an utility to make it really mono. Let's move on now to the second bass. This second bass is another FM bass and sounds like this. Basically uh, Paul Walker drifting in your garage. For oscillator A, just choose basic shape, put it on triangle mode, uh, put it on FM from B and put the FM at about 48%. For oscillator B, again, basic shapes, uh, it's a saw wave, put it on sync full window and uh, automate the sync with this shape to give it that super high tone. Put the octave up and play a bit with the fine. For the filter part, we just choose old pass filter to give it that extra noisy vibe. <laughs> It's not too much but it does a little bit of like shaping I guess. Add a bit of noise here and you should be good. For the FX section now, uh, nothing too difficult, just hyper again to make it uh, wide. Uh, line fold as distortion to give it that noisy tone. <laughs> super important and a uh, multi-bone compression at the end. For the post process you will need a dynamic tube to make it super gnarly, just copy the settings, then add a disperser to make it even more gnarly, erosion to give it extra noise and digital texture, then automate uh, this filter like this, it's super simple. <laughs> 
and put the basic stuff like OTT saturation, EQing, OTT compression saturation, and EQing at the end to reduce a bit the harsh frequencies. To make this project even more accurate, we remade this filler bass. <laughs> Uh, it's decomposed in three layers. The first one is from our stab sample. Uh, we just uh, pitch it down with frequency shifting, added a bit of chorus, uh, reverb, and our basic chain. Then we have this super high pitch uh, sine LFO bass, which sounds like this. So it's basically an analog scene, uh, super high pitch with a super fast LFO on it. Here, saturation and compression a lot, bit of frequency shifting also. Our third layer sounds like this, and is the same patch as the previous one, uh, just a bit of uh, difference in the saturation and the frequency shifting. Also, we played the LFO a bit faster. Alright guys, that's it for the scenes, now let's look at the sub. It's basically two oscillators. First one is the sine wave. We just boosted the second and third harmonic in the oscillator section. And the second one is a square wave and we didn't touch anything. Make sure to choose this mode so oscillator A and B aren't FMing each other. Then in the pitch envelope mode, just boost the peak at 48% and put the decay at like about 50 milliseconds. For the post-processing now, just some overdrive to give it some extra harmonics, a boost in the low end, a low mid as well, and a cut in the mid section. Put some utility at the end to make it mono and it should be good. Alright, now that we've seen everything, let's listen one last time to the final result. <laughs> Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Just let me know in the comment section what do you think of this remake, I'd be super glad to hear your feedbacks. Now that the tutorial is over and we got rid of all the fake producers, I'll explain you how to get this project file for free. You basically just have to go on Instagram, follow us, see our latest post and read the rules to enter. If you want even more content from us, make sure to go to our shop section on our website and to search through what we already released. Also, make sure to check our roadmap and see how owning one of our NFT can grant you access to exclusive workshops, sample packs each month for free, exclusive merch, giveaways and more. Be sure to join our Discord as we are building a strong community of music producers and it's a great way for you to have feedbacks on your music production from us or from other producers of our community. Thanks for your time and see you in the next video. Hey, 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 hey,